We've been reporting it here. You've seen it out there. A shortage of everything. Ships are backed up out of major West Coast ports, and there are thousands of help wanted ads for truckers to move those goods. This caller says there's an e easy answer. The frustration first, then the solution. We're having major shortages from anything from car parts to antibiotics and medication because the ships are off the coastline and can't unload at our docks. Do we make anything in the United States anymore? You want to fix the supply chain issue? Lift all the union restrictions on the trucking industry in California where you have to be a union driver to drive a truck. You've got a 1,000 plus independent truck drivers. I'm sure there's probably more that will be lined up in the next two hours ready to put a load on their truck and drive it wherever it needs to go, but they're not a union driver. And I'm listening to Joe Biden last night, and these gas prices, $8 a gallon in California, they could release some of the strategic oil reserve. He's saying, oh, it's not my fault. It's Saudi Arabia hadn't given us any. We were energy independent, producing our own oil a year ago. When are you people going to get it through your head? They are trying to wreck the economy. Phil says better get cracking on conserving our dwindling water supply. The drought's been worsening for 10 plus years with no relief in sight. When is our state, county and city officials going to take action? It's a simple process. Impose a building moratorium. If this doesn't happen soon, this city and state are going to dry up just like Lake Mead and Lake Powell. Bruce has a solution to the controversy over renaming McCarran International. Naming the airport after a politician will always cause division and without a public vote is deplorable. Wouldn't it be better to name the airport after someone synonymous with Las Vegas? How about Wayne Newton Airport or Elvis Presley Airport? I'd be happy with Carrot Top Airport. The other day, we had a caller who told us we could cut down so much on fender benders if people would just keep their distance, two to three car lengths. It's a great idea in another world. But the people in Las Vegas are so impatient that every one of the drivers thinks that where they're going is more important to get there than where you're going. You need a four-wheel drive to drive down Eastern Boulevard, one of the major roadways in Las Vegas. What's with the patchwork construction? Every week, they're digging up a section a few feet wide by a few feet long and patching it back horribly. Fire the DOT, all of them. This is the place for you to be heard. The email address is therant at fox5vegas.com. You can call us 436-8285.